Welcome back to McCarthy Performance. We are prepping the 400 Pontiac for cam bearings. Uh, took a broom handle, an old one, bored a hole in it. So what I can do is I can get to the edge here and get into the camshaft tunnel. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in here. And run it through the shaft. And then we're going to hook up the drill. So what this is going to allow me to do is get right... So that edge is broke. We only need to do one side um, because we're driving them in. You could do both sides if you want, but <clears throat> Fords and Pontiacs are kind of narrow, so you want to be careful where you where you break your edge. And uh, <clears throat> the MX wheel is 80 grit. Uh, you could use a drum sander on it as well if you wanted to uh, Or you could use a flap wheel. And then we don't need to do it on the front one because we just turn it around and go from the other side. And we've uh, broke the edge on the camshaft bearings like I've told you before. I just put it on the belt sand and roll this edge so they have a nicer uh, lead on them. Uh, 
um, you can just see where I've taken just a little, a little bit of the edge off it right there. But um, and I just freehand them, and they've been chamfered in the inside. I always do that to all my cam bearings. So I'm gonna wipe out the housing board and I'm gonna start the cam bearings. Quick little video. Um, if you have a hard place to get and you don't have a means to get in there, uh, you can make yourself up a shaft. Uh, I think I went over this before. This is uh, JB welded on, uh, counter drilled it, and then make yourself up a stick if you want, and that uh, allows you to get. Uh, better than 12 inches out uh, away from the drill and uh, been able to control it a little bit better than tearing all the bearings out of your drill or your die grinder. You can run it on a die grinder too. Um, just a quick little video on something I thought up and thought it would uh, maybe somebody to get some use out of it. And we've uh, broke the edge on the camshaft bearings like I've told you before. I just put it on the belt sand and roll this edge so they have a nicer uh, lead on them. Um, you can just see where I've taken just a little, a little bit of the edge off it right there. But um, and I just freehand them. And they've been chamfered in the inside. I always do that to all my cam bearings. So, I'm going to wipe out the housing board and then install the cam bearings. Uh, just a quick little video. Um, if you have a hard place to get and you don't have a means to get in there, uh, you can make yourself up a shaft. Uh, I think I went over this before. This is uh, JB welded on, uh, counter drilled it, and then make yourself up a stick if you want. And that uh, allows you to get uh, better than 12 inches out uh, away from the drill and uh, been able to control it a little bit better than tearing all the bearings out of your drill or your die grinder. You can run it on a die grinder too. Okay, so we're ready to install the cam bearings. On a Pontiac, all the cam bearings are the same position. Um, you can check that uh, on the box. Usually, you will have the position. And the last number on the cam bearing itself uh, is the position. And uh, let's see if we can find it for you. Sometimes they don't make it very easy, but uh, there the position trust me you can't see it um, here's the positions on the box so that cam bearing when you look at it uh, the uh, P-3-2 is all the positions on a Pontiac not every engine is like that uh, some aftermarket engines are the same position as the factory originals would not be the same position so you have to be aware of when you're doing an aftermarket block that you uh, have the right cam bearings and that you position them uh, I marked it for position um, broke the edge don't know if I got into that and told you I just roll the edge just a little tiny bit not much on these they're not very wide um, we're going to drive the back one in. We're going to drive the back one in through the front. And the rest of them are all going to be driven from the back. So I'm going to do the rear one and then I'm going to flip it around and do the rest. So we're going to drive the back. Put a little bit of oil on them. Don't drive them dry. Make sure you're driving on the straight. Keep the pressure on the mandrel, tighten it up, make sure it's the cam bearing is not bouncing off of it. If it, if it bounces back and forth, it 
I was going to say kind of ricochets off back and forth when you're driving it you're going to hammer the front of the cam bearing up and you might not be able to get your cam in uh, so you don't want to you don't want to beat on them too hard you want to you want to drive them true and steady we got to go in a little further on this one yeah we got to go in a little further well make sure that we hit it we're not bouncing off the back of the block and stopping the can bearing from moving okay that one's that one's uh, got to go back okay, we'll straighten that out later and we'll do the, do the rest of them from the other way I just put a rag down and make sure that we're not uh, dragging on that bearing when I'm driving them. Gonna sneak through here. Okay, we've got to take this off. I'm going to do the front one. I'm going to work my way towards the back. And then I'm going to have to tap the back one in just a little bit because we got a little carried away and went too far. Bearing's got a lead to it. That's the part we're driving. Okay. Looks good. Okay, that one just lined right up. On Pontiacs, you got to drive them sometimes a little further. You want to make sure that the, the mandrel, when it drives, it doesn't bottom out and beat up against the deck. Um, you can get different thickness collars. This one's the thinner one. I think the orange one for this cam driver is the thicker one. If you back it off, just a little bit and you carefully tap it you can get away with this but don't don't hit the block if you if it stops moving that means you're beating up against the block and you don't want to do that so we'll put the next one in Good. It's lined up. There's probably a couple of videos of me putting cam bearings in. Um, you know, I I'll make a video and um, you know maybe you'll get something see something out of this one um, uh, you know uh, or don't watch it uh, I would like you to watch my videos if you have uh, something you want to see me do let me know Okay, we're going to drive that one. I was looking for my little flashlight. I can't find him. He must have took off. Probably for warmer weather. 
Let's see here. So that looks pretty good. I think we're pretty close to being right where we need to be with it. Yep. Like I said on prior videos, um, you know, it's it's really nice to line up the oiling holes so they, they line up perfectly. But as long as the hole, the oiling hole in the block is usually bigger than the cam bearing. As long as you can see the whole oiling hole, it isn't the end of the world. It's nice to have them perfectly on center, but sometimes that don't happen. And sometimes if you drive the cam bearing out, you might take a chance of destroying it. So, you know, everybody wants perfect, but sometimes it's better to leave it alone. As long as it's getting oil, and the hole is not blocked off, it'll be fine. So, that one looks pretty darn good. Right about there. That should be good. And we're all set to go. Just got to tap the back one in and I'll do that. It's not a problem. Part of my tool underneath the block, that's more of a problem than driving the cam bearing back. Old age, boy, it's hard to bend over anymore. Yeah, I get out from under here. Okay, so just a little quick video, maybe you'll get something out of it, maybe you won't, I don't know. But here we go. You can see we're lined up, we're lined up, we're lined up. And then the back one, we went too far. We lined up on that one, but that one we got to drive back, back home a little bit. Uh, like I said, on the oiling holes, you know, it's nice to be perfect in the center. Um, but as long as you can look down it and you can see the whole oiling hole through the cam bearing, you're good. Uh, just a quick little video. Thanks for watching. And uh, have a good one. On the cam bearing itself, uh, is the position and uh, let's see if we can find it for you sometimes they don't make it very easy but uh, there on there is the position trust me you can't see it um, here's the positions on the box so that cam bearing when you look at it uh, the uh, P dash three dash two is all the positions on a Pontiac. Not every engine is like that. Uh, some aftermarket engines are the same position as the factory originals would not be the same position. So you have to be aware of when you're doing an aftermarket block that you uh, have the right cam bearings and that you position them. Uh, I marked it for position. Um, broke the edge don't know if I got into that and told you I just roll the edge just a little tiny bit not much on these they're not very wide um, we're going to drive the back one in we're going to drive the back one in through the front and the rest of them are all going to be driven from the back so I'm going to do the rear one and then I'm going to flip it around and do the rest so we're going to drive the back Put a little bit of oil on them, don't drive them dry. Make sure you're driving on them straight. Keep the pressure on the mandrel, tighten it up, make sure it's the cam bearing is not bouncing off of it. If it, if it bounces back and forth, it, I was gonna say kind of ricochets, off back and forth when you're driving it you're going to hammer the front of the cam bearing up and you might not be able to get your cam in uh, so you don't want to you don't want to beat on them 
too hard. You want to you want to drive them true and steady. We got to go in a little further on this one. Yeah, we got to go in a little further. We'll make sure that we hit it. We're not bouncing off the back of the block and stopping the can bearing from moving. down and make sure that we're not uh, dragging on that bearing when I'm driving them. Sneak through here. Okay, we've got to take this off. I'm going to do the front one. I'm going to work my way towards the back. And then I'm going to have to tap the back one in just a little bit because we got a little carried away and went too far. Main's got a lead to it. That's the part we're driving. Okay, that one is lined right up. On Pontiacs, you got to drive them sometimes a little further. You want to make sure that the, the mandrel, when it drives, it doesn't bottom out and beat up against the deck. Um, you can get different thickness collars. This one's the thinner one. I think the orange one for this cam driver is the thicker one. If you back it off, just a little bit and you carefully tap it you can get away with this but don't don't hit the block if you if it stops moving that means you're beating up against the block and you don't want to do that so we'll put the next one in Good. It's lined up. There's probably a couple of videos of me putting cam bearings in. Um, you know, I I'll make a video and um, you know maybe you'll get something see something out of this one um, uh, you know uh, or don't watch it uh, I would like you to watch my videos if you have uh, something you want to see me do let me know Okay, we're going to drive that one. I was looking for my little flashlight. I can't find him. He must have took off. Probably for warmer weather. Let's see. So that looks pretty good. I think we're pretty close to being right where we need to be with it.
Yeah. Like I said on prior videos, um, you know, it's it's really nice to line up the oiling holes so they, they line up perfectly. But as long as the hole, the oiling hole in the block is usually bigger than the cam bearing, as long as you can see the whole oiling hole, it isn't the end of the world. It's nice to have them perfectly on center, but sometimes that don't happen. And sometimes if you drive the cam bearing out, you might take a chance of destroying it. So, you know, everybody wants perfect, but sometimes it's better to leave it alone. As long as it's getting oil and the hole is not blocked off, it'll be fine. So, that one looks pretty darn good. Right about there. That should be good. And we're all set to go. Just gotta tap the back one in and I'll do that. It's not a problem. Part of my tool underneath the block. That's more of a problem than driving the cam bearing back. Old age, boy, it's hard to bend over anymore. Yeah, I get out from under here. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So just a little quick video. Maybe you'll get something out of it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Here we go. You can see we're lined up. We're lined up. We're lined up. And then the back one we went too far. We lined up on that one. But that one we got to drive back, back home a little bit. Uh, like I said on the oiling holes, you know, it's nice to be perfect in the center um, but as long as you can look down it and you can see the whole oiling hole through the cam bearing you're good uh, just a quick little video thanks for watching and uh, have a good one